Hello everyone, this is Selina once again, your teacher in JLPTN for tutorials. So a lot of you have been requesting for grammar, so we're going to do grammar today. For those who are new to my channel, just watch my previous vlogs and if you are a test taker or you, or you want to know uh, about Japanese language more, this channel will be the best one for you. That's an advertisement. <laughs> Okay, you're the one who can judge. Well, I'm just trying my best in order to help you. Okay, let's start. Kakko ni nani wo iremasu ka? 1, 2, 3, 4 kara ichiban ii mono wo hitotsu erande kudasai. Guys, don't mind the numbers. This vlog is a continuation of the previous grammar vlogs that we had. So, for those who haven't seen or watched uh, the grammar vlog we had, just go to the playlist for grammar okay jurokuban ame ga kakko kamoshirenai kara kasa o motte dekake yo ame ga kakko kamoshirenai kara kasa o motte dekake yo choices are furu furi futta futte okay our grammar point is kamoshirenai kara Okay, the answer is furu. So, ame ga furu kamo shirenai kara. It might, so this means it might rain. So, let's bring our umbrella with us when we go out. Dekakeru, dekakeyo, going out. Okay, so this is in dekakeyo, it's dekakemasho. This is the Casual form. The kake masho is the polite form. So we're going to bring our umbrella. This is a combination of verb plus kamoshirenai. So it, uh, the verb, or you could also use a noun, adjective, or uh, na adjective, but all in plain form. When we say plain form, it means that it's not in the mass form. A very simple explanation. So we have furu kamoshirenai. So be careful with this. It's re, it's not ra. For beginners, they uh, seem to mistake this for kamoshira shira nai. So it's not the right one. It's shire nai. Because there is a possibility. This means uh, to express possibility of something okay so it might rain another example could be kesa uh, or asakara no do ga itai so kase o hita kamoshirenai i have a sore throat since this morning so i might have uh, colds okay another example could be raishu wa isogashi kara I am busy next week. Party ni ikenai kamo shirenai. So I might not be able to go to the party. Okay? Kamo shirenai. It's a possibility or probability. Next sentence. Shpatsu. Shpatsu uh, means departure. We had this uh, vocabulary in our kanji test tutorial. So shpatsu wa Kuji desu kara hachiji goju pun. Kako atsumatte kudasai. So our departure. That is a big hint. Okay. Choices are made ni made shika demo. Okay. The answer is we have discussed this also. Uh, in our previous vlog so i hope you got the right answer so made ni so our departure is at nine o'clock so at 8 50 made ni atsumate kudasai so gather or be here at 8 50 made ni that is the limit time you should be here by 8 50 so when we use made with ni, 
it sets a limit. You should go by this time. So if you come late, well, sorry for you. We will leave you there. Okay, so Madeni. Okay, this is an easy one. Next sentence. Kare wa watashi ga tsukuru. Ryori o taberu. Kako de jibun de tsukta koto ga nai. Kare wa watashi ga tsukuru ryori o taberu. Kako de jibun de tsukta koto ga nai. Choices are gurai, yori, dake, kara. I'll give you time. Okay, the answer is dake, which means only. So, he only eats. Kare wa watashi ga tsukuta ryori o taberu dake de. He only eats the food or the dish that I cook. And, and he never has cooked any dish for himself he just eats what somebody prepares or what somebody cooks so taberu dake de only eat so we have verb plus dake which only means only okay and this day here is end it connects the two sentences he only eats the dish that i cook he never, he has never cooked for himself. Okay. Next sentence. Kono knife wa pan o kiru kakko tsukaimasu. Choices are no de, no ga, no o, no ni. Okay. The answer is no ni. Okay. So the sentence says, Kono knife wa, this knife, pan o kiru, cut the bread, is used, okay? To rephrase it, this knife is used, is used to cut bread. Or to rephrase it, this knife is used for slicing bread, okay? So this nani means this is used for it has a purpose. And the other meaning of noni is despite of. So in this sentence, it says, uh, this is the usage of something. I use this for. So I use this knife for slicing the bread. Another example, Tomodachi ni renraku suru no ni meru wo okurimasu. Okay. In, uh, in order to get contact or to contact my friend, I send him mail. Renraku suru no ni. Renraku suru no ni. To contact. Okay, I hope that is clear. Number 20, we have a mini dialogue. Nimotsu. Okay? Nimotsu o musou desu ne? Kakko. Period. So this is what we have bracket. This is, this is what A said. Then B says... Sumimasen, arigatou gozaimasu. Okay. Choices are, omochi ni narimasu ka? Omochi kudasai. Omochi ni natte kudasai. Omochi shimashou. I'll give you time. Okay, the answer is, omochi shimashou. Okay, so... Uh, A says, Nimotsu mo omoso desu ne. Your luggage looks heavy. Uh, can I carry it for you? Or shall I carry it for you? And B says, Sumimasen. Oh, thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Okay, so Sumimasen and Arigato gozaimasu just uh, means the same. It's uh, gratitude. Thanking somebody. Okay, so we have omochi shimasho. This is our grammar point. Okay, let me explain it this way. So we have the answer, omochi shimasho. This is a kind of honorific speech, which is keigo. And under keigo, there are kinds of uh, polite or respectful ways of speech. And one of it is humble form, wherein you humble yourself. Okay, 
So we have the verb mochimas, and this is how uh, to make it. So we add o, take away mas here, so it will be kan mochi, omochi, and suru, omochi suru. But we have omochi shimashou. This grammar point, shimashou means shall I carry it for you? Okay, and sometimes we also could add here omochi shimashou ka? Shall I carry it for you? But we don't have ka, ka. It's not a question. It's an offer to carry the luggage. Omochi shimashou. Okay. I hope this is clear. Next sentence. Uchi de wa, in our house, kodomo ni soji ya sentaku o kako imasu. Uchi de wa, kodomo ni soji ya sentaku o imasu. Choices are, dekite, sasete, shite, sarete. I'll give you time. Okay, the answer is, cha cha cha, sasete. Okay, sasete imasu. So this is a causative form of a verb. So in our house, uh, I made my children, ne? or my child, uh, to do the washing and the cleaning. So the meaning of a causative form is you make somebody to do something. Okay, like a parent to a child or a boss to his subordinate. But you can't do it in the other way. You cannot make your superior to do something for you. Okay, for a parent and child, for example, Okaasan wa kodomo ni yasai o tabesasiru. The mother uh, makes the child eat vegetables. Okay, so it's a rather a superior to subordinate relationship. So this is how we make causative form for those who don't know it yet or who would like to review. Okay, so group one verb we have kaku, and to change to change it to causative form we change ku to ka and add seru. Okay. So we have kaka seru. For group two, we, for example, taberu. Okay, just take away ru and add saseru. So we have tabe saseru. Group three, suru is saseru and kuru ko saseru. Um, be careful with this. Ku becomes ko. Okay, plus saseru. Ko saseru. Okay, I hope that is clear. Next sentence. Kono kaisha de wa minna ga eiga o hanasu no de nihongo ga kakko kamawanai. Kono kaisha de wa minna ga eiga o hanasu no de nihongo ga kakko kamawanai. Choices are dekitara, dekiru to, dekinaku temo, dekinakereba. Which one is the right one? Okay, the answer is dekinakutemo. Okay, the sentence says in this kaisha, in this company or office, minaga ega o hanasu. Every everyone speaks English. So Nihongo ga dekinakutemo kamawanai. So I don't mind if you cannot speak Japanese. To rephrase it. I don't mind or we don't mind if you don't speak in Japanese because here you can talk in English or communicate in English. So, dekinakute mo temo kamawanai form of a verb. So, that is our grammar point. I don't mind. Did you get it? Temo kamawanai or temo kamaimasen means it's okay. It's all right. Daijobu desu yo. It's okay to do something. Like for example, ashita yasundemo i desu ka? And if it's okay with you, you can you could say, hai yasundemo kamemasen. Well, that is a very simple explanation or example. So we had seven sentences in this tutorial. I hope uh, you were able to answer this ahead of me and I have to edit this first and it would take a lot of time editing. So 
I think this would be enough for me with seven sentences and I'll follow this up soon. Okay, see you again or see me again. For those new uh, followers or subscribers, please watch uh, the previous vlogs. Okay, see you.